hello in this video i'm going to be teaching you how to make a website like this a website that is responsive for all type of devices desktop tab and mobile which will hit your google index and improve session experience of your clients when they visit your website actually i created this website with absolute beginners in mind and even if you just started you are not much advanced and even if you are advanced you know there are little things we can take from each other that you can learn from this website i used elementor and wordpress to build this website and it is actually responsive uh, for all mobile devices and i covered how to install wordpress how to uh, add a theme remove a theme how to add plugins and some plugins that you can actually use and import an entire website or a part of a website into your own website and just edit it and make it yours so that is what i covered in this video and i'm pleading with you if you want to use the same host hosting platform that i used which is a uh, blue host uh there is a link in the description kindly use the link it will be some sort of financial encouragement for me and i'll be able to do more more videos like this and even if many people actually use that link then i will be able to negotiate a discount for you in the future it will be a win-win for both of us if you use the link you won't actually incur additional charges so i'll plead with you to like this video subscribe to this channel and also if you like to use bluehost please kindly use my link to access the bluehost platform and then get your domain it will be very good help that you've actually done for me so let's go into the video and let's learn how to design this website so you come to bluehost and then you come to hosting shared hosting and then it's going to load all the packages that they have for you so basic plus choice plus and pro you see the different features underneath each and every one of them i want choice plus and then i click it and then i'm going to search if my domain name is available or i create a new domain i want it org so i click on next it's going to search now my domain is available and then i need to create an account with the domain put my name my last name 12 months and then all these packages they come with i will have to pay for it so i'm on clicking them and then it's going to give me a new balance right now and i have 65 us dollars and then i put my card details and then it's successful so i've bought it i didn't show my card details i don't want to show it to you so now this is my receipt subtotal so i can then go follow suit and say i then create your password and then my domain name is there and then i can create my password make sure you use a strong password it's actually written it as i'm pressing it how the how strong the password is number special character cap low cap and and the lights so i'm currently putting my password so i put my password it said it's strong and then i will type the password and then i click create account and accept the terms and condition as well so it's loading it's loading the blue spotter for me right now all right world time to take you home so this in my gmail this is what i have i have to verify my email so that it can be linked to my the domain name that i just buy you need to verify it so it has been verified now and then this is my receipt as well that was sent to my email so i then come back here create my website and then it's asking me some questions here if i need help or not so i've never used their the, the help before i can click no help needed or a little help whichever one and you can also skip this step if you want so what's the permanent purpose of your site so i choose a so there are different purposes that your website might be for so you just choose one i choose blog it's actually using this question to personalize some things for me that i may likely go with so i just follow suit and what do you want to name your site what's your site tagline now these are just being used to personalize your website so that it won't be totally empty so i follow so these are free things for me that i can upload or that that can come with my wordpress we have these are free we also have premium 
and you can just choose any one currently and i want to use this one and i can change it later on so i've cho chose it and it has actually installed wordpress for me so i can then log in into the wordpress right now log into wordpress and then this is what i have of course my website is not live yet the domain name that i have is a temporary domain it will take a little bit of time before it can go live so but i have access into my dashboard so this is the domain name the website is not live on that particular domain that i bought so these are what we have if you look at my if i visit my website right now i'm going to see the theme that i installed with probably some of my information yeah this is it we are digital agency this is everything that comes with the theme it's even looking nice already you, if you want this kind of website you can just easily edit everything that is here and then you will have a beautiful website at the end of the day so these are what i have on this very cool actually very very cool if this is what you want then you need no step further and you can see what i have is temporary domain it's not currently on the domain name that i buy because it's going to take a little bit of time before it can be live so i'll just have to wait a bit and then after waiting a bit i can then come back and then use this to log in to my wordpress so after trying again let me go to advance and take me there yeah so i just go back it's still not live yet so let me just take a break and then we come back when our website is live and now our website is live after taking some time off now our website is live it's currently on dyslexiastudy.org and it is not secure the security is not applied yet so this is a beautiful website so i'll have to go to my dashboard so coming down settings permalink so i come down so how do i want my posts to appear this one is not okay post name is the best if you want to rank on google search so that that's how it's best it should appear instead of that this let's say uh, one two three that's how your post will be appearing it should be giving all your post name like numbers and then google index will not index it very well but if it's by name it will index it very well so i just want to confirm that that's what i have so i just come to this setting again and then i put s here and then put s here again and then update it and then I will, my website will be secure. I just put S. That S means hypertext transfer protocol secure. So I put the S there. So it will make my website secure. So this setting is under general. So I just want to see everything is okay. The date format, time format, everything is okay. And then I can easily update it from here. I can save changes. So you will see that I will have the padlock on my uh tab right now that is which means it's secure this gives people more confidence when they want to come to your website so we see it now it's now secure this is not this is there it's not there before so telling me to log in again so i log in so we are back inside again so it's my website is secure so if i view site my website is live on that particular domain that I bought after waiting for some time for like, I think I waited like one hour. So this is my da going back to my dashboard. So these are where the magic happens. This is the back end to your website. I can dismiss some of these and cancel some of these if I want. So and I can come do something. I want to, I want to come to appearance teams. Probably, you know, there are different teams. The teams is just like the skeleton for your website there are some teams that actually enhances some functions some does not and this is the team that came with our website that active ziva 
and this is another team i can preview it and it's loading currently teams are kind of very important there are teams that works for blog there are teams for work that works for e-commerce and there are teams that is actually very flexible we are going to use a team that is flexible we are not going to use this team so this are this is actually another team that comes with footer one footer two footer three footer four and different types of it comes with home and sample page and some other things this is just giving me some indications currently and i click down so this is just a preview of the team that i view right now i can probably act activate and publish it right now and then it's going to replace the one that i have before but i'm not going to do that i just cancel it so the one that i have is the active ziva so these are the ones that just come with my website so i just want to delete it now i clicked on it and then i'm able to delete it it's deleting it right now and then i can click on this one as well and then delete it and then i can click on this as well and then delete it and then i can click on this as well delete it and then we only have this i only have this on my on my uh, dashboard so i can hide new teams by clicking on on that but that's actually uh add new teams yes i can hide new teams i can search for maybe there's a particular team that i want i don't want this particular team and then these are teams that i can use i just have to install it and then activate it these are different teams teams actually gives like the skeleton for skeleton for your website so these are latest things that people are people are using latest ones these are favorites but i don't have anyone in my favorites before this is a new website these are premium teams premium teams are very good as well they offer some additional features so you can come down and see the latest whichever one you want of course seeing it here that doesn't mean everything you are seeing here will be imported that the images too will come with it no these are not templates these are teams they were just showing you it's beautiful right here they were just showing you the type of website that they've used that particular team to build if you import that particular team maybe install it and then bring it to your website you will just see the, you, will, you wouldn't see all the pictures that you are seeing you may or may not see it so you can search for block team and it's going to show you some of the blog teams that actually go with blog we have news blog city blog and and the lights so i can cancel this and then search for the team that i really want to use so i want to install plugin currently let me leave team for now because i'll be building this website with elementor and i will be using some templates to build the website actually and there are some plugins that came with my website that i may not want this one blue host is still is still okay i can leave this you can look for the you can look at the description there what is actually doing there what is working for creative made by constant contact this is for gmail google google analytics for wordpress hello dolly i don't need it it's not even activated so i just delete, click on it and delete it if i want wp forms light yoast seo optin monster so this is just how to uh just click on the plugin and you see all your plugins and then you can delete whichever one you don't want and you can also add whichever one that you want so you can just read about them what they do what they do not do if you need them or you don't need them so these are descriptions over there so you can deactivate and delete whichever one you don't want for example let me show you how to do this use seo i click on deactivate and then it's not going to function seo is used seo optimization and then because i've deactivated i can now delete it so let me click on delete so it's deleting so it's deleted and then i can also mark many of them i can search and start plugin maybe i want a plugin that's on my system before so let me add the use seo again it's not on search and stop plugin i have to just put it there so i can click add new so that's just how to add and 
remove plugins so i want to add yoast seo again maybe you know a particular uh so this is it. you know a particular plugin that you want to use for your website so this is yoast seo so i'm installing it again click on install it's installing and after installing then i can click on activate so plugin are just things that give extra features to your website you know you are not writing the code from beginning and there are different things you may need to add to your website instead of writing the code some plugins have, have already given you the flexibility to just use it directly so this is just seo it helps you to write posts to, that aligns with search engine optimization so i want to uh, delete some i want to do a bulk action and then i can click some of them and then click them and then i click two actually and then i can de delete them delete and then apply so it's going to delete hello dolly and the other one yeah this one is gone and so that's how to use bulk action to delete things you can use the bulk actions too to deactivate many of the teams that uh, many of the plugins that are working on the system so these are the plugins that i have on my system and then i've installed your seo again which actually helps you with posting if you want to post it will make sure that your post aligns with search engine optimization and can be easily indexed so i can easily add more plugin if i want i want to add the new plugin here so i want to look for elementor elementor this is what i'll be using to build my website we have different types of elementor essential add-ons for elementor you can browse what they do if you need the, the features on your website you can put it there this element essential add-ons for elementor so this is elementor website builder so i can click install now so it's installing currently installing and then i'm going to activate it and in this lesson i will actually be using elementor pro so i've activated it i'll just have to connect my this elementor with my elementor pro in the back end you know it's actually very easy so it leads me here that you are here let's settings up so create my account if you don't have before you have to create an account and you can connect or skip skip and skip and skip and if you have a logo you can skip as well there are different it's telling you that there are different templates skip as well you can skip or browse from templates so it's, i want to browse from templates i think that's what i click click there yeah so this is a template so got it so i just want to exit it exit exit so it's telling me exit to where wp dashboard yes so i just click on exit so i'm back yeah this is my website as we've seen before looking good with some smooth transition and then i can click edit sites you can also edit your site directly even without elementor let me show you some of the things that you can do here even without elementor so you can you know as i click on click on this i can remove this with a digital agency and then put your own name there i can click on it and do a lot of you know editing that i want that will make this this particular website that come with the team that will make it my own by just clicking on it i can just do different editing through sort of web development i can with a digital agency i can have whatever it is that i want so i go back so i'm going back to plugin i want to add new no i was redirected by elementor before so i'm back to plugin so i want to install starter template starter templates actually gives you the opportunity to install a complete website into and into your into your dashboard and then make it live so i'm installing it now and then i activate it there are different templates on starter templates there are different templates templates on elementor and then starter templates actually also has some very good templates that you can use so i'm trying to activate it right now so when you put it on your website you'll be able to export, import templates and then edit it and then you are good to go 
So these are the pages that come with my website. I have this Elementor templates that I clicked on before. Privacy policy came with my website and then I can trash this. Can trash it and then this Elementor draft, I can click on all of them and then apply block, um, block action and then move them to trash and just click apply. apply so i have no pages here again so this is this is showing me the introduction of the uh, starter templates different ones that i can actually go with different <laughs> it has different templates for me e-commerce template blog i can view blog templates let's see some templates that may be good for your own business so these are some templates that you can easily use if you click on any of these templates you can i want something that's related to blog blog yes so these are blog related templates we have e-commerce you know blogger food blog magazine you know there are different types there if it's there are pro version and then there are free version and so if you click on it on anyone you can easily import the whole website into your dashboard and then you just edit it and then make it live and that becomes your website so like this neho near here i clicked on it it's loading loading the images as well of course you see how beautiful this is and then i can easily edit whatever i want this is the image these are the images these are test these are testimonials these are features you know I can easily click on anything here and edit it the way I want. Put the right, uh, the right link where people can see it by clicking on it here. I can edit it and do whatever it is that I want. It's actually a very good website. You can also upload your logo over there, but I don't want this. Of course, even if you want this, you just, you just publish it and then you can easily edit all the pages. All the pages even using elementor because it's quite easier to use elementor to edit than just editing it through the customized version of your wordpress like customizing coming to customize so these are this is just the website actually very nice i even feel like letting this be but this is not the website we are aiming to create so i can just back i don't want this template so i can just uh I want to exit right now so I think I'll just have to back 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 yeah so this is my uh, dashboard because I back that's why I see have these pages so it's not there actually so now this is my website and then I have no page and then I can add new page by clicking over there. I want to add a new page to my website. Website is all about pages and posts. So which page do I want to add? I want to add home page, home, and then it's looking good, home. It's showing welcome over there. I will still change that very soon. So I can edit it with Elementor. So it's going to load the page for me. I want to edit this home page with Elementor. So immediately I create it. I just go with edit with Elementor. This is the uh, this is the theme that we have. This is how it functions. So I think it's time. I need to change this theme currently now. So I can easily back as it so I, but I, if i want i can ed edit it here but i don't want that thing it's contesting with what i want to do so i just back click on this this uh icon and i have my home page and then i can go to teams so i can click on add new add new team search installed 
no it don't i don't have it already i have to add new first add new teams so i want to search for the hello team so there are different teams from which you can choose and select but i want to choose from the i want to use the hello team so we see this hello team underneath here we see that it's, it's even very compatible with elementor so if you look at it this is under hello bloggers no i don't want that this hello elementor this is the team that i want to use it's actually very compatible with elementor you can easily tweak it the way you want and it works with many features of elementor so i click install and then i will activate it it's currently installing and then activate so it's currently activated so if i visit my site right now hooray we have something entirely different it's not looking good but we are still going to get there so let's go back to my dashboard because i've changed the team that's why you're able to see this and not what you've been seeing before so i come to, to pages and then edit with elemental and this so this is where the magic happens so i can click on this it's going to show me some templates from elemental and i click on that one that starter template it's showing me some templates from starter template instead of probably you want to import it page by page instead of just doing it the way i did it before by just going straight away from our customized session so this is it i just come to edit with elementor and starter te template also works inside the elementor you can bring any templates you can come to block maybe you don't want to import a full page you just want to import a block of a, the block of a page we have different blocks that you can choose from this elementor template as well so you have different templates at your hand that you can use because of elementor plugin and starter templates plugin and you can combine maybe you use a, a little maybe a block of elementor and the block the next block that you want is in uh starter templates you can easily go there and choose the block that you want so we are still going to get to where the magic happens soon so as i click on this this is what i have i have this very wonderful page that i can insert into my website and then i can easily edit it and then it becomes my own very very easy instead of writing it's instead of writing some complex code and and the likes so if i click on insert so it's telling me to connect my library just click get started sign into my account just sign into my elemental account you may need to create an elemental account i'll just sign into my own account so it sent me a verification code so i put it there and then i verify and then i have to confirm i'm not a robot So it's saying connect. So I've connected it. So I come back there. So it has imported it. So that's just how to do it. You may need to create an account. It's very easy to do, very straightforward. So this is the website. It's still loading some of the images. It doesn't load all the images. My I think my network is a little bit slow. And aside from that, these are widgets that you can actually drag. Maybe you want to add something else, you can easily drag it from that left widget side and then drag it into this space. But don't worry, we are still going to get it there very soon. I'm just using this to explain some options that you have. We've not really started creating the website, like creating it, but we are going to get there very, very soon. So these are just the templates that I have. If I click on this, I can change that image. You will see get there. We will see get there how to change image and and the likes 
so this is hello world i can click on it and change it from hello world to something else that i want this is these are just every section on the page so if i click on this i will get an option to change the picture to change the text to do whatever it is that i want to do on this so this is this website but i don't want it so i just leave that place so i'm back to creating page right now i want to create more pages so i just click on objective and then publish the page so don't worry you don't miss you don't actually miss anything i just cancel the window and then come back to creating pages by just clicking on new and then add page so right now i want to create menu so we are about to start creating our website proper so we give a menu name header menu because i've created some pages display location premium menu which will be on the top and then you should give your your menu a name header menu so you can create menu and then you can also make it footer menu like the menu that will appear on the foot on the footer so my is permit menu i named it header menu and then permit menu over there so it's created so i want to add all the pages that i have so these are all the pages i view all not most recent i want to add all these pages to my menu the menu that will show so i can either click select all then the how to menu I just create the page and then come to appearance and then come to menu and then i create the menu and then i had all this page just as i've as i'm doing currently i had all these pages so this is the navigation label about and i can easily remove whichever one i don't want there so that's the custom link that's that's my custom link when people come to my website they will come to this home it automatically assigned that so i can drag it maybe i want about methodology to be below maybe i want objective to go above activities i can easily drag it and then save menu so i can make it a footer menu too Femi menu is the one that will appear on top we can have, have different type of menu we can have the secondary menu we can have off canvas menu we can have footer menu and premium menu but what you may need currently is just premium and footer menu and then i click on save menu so since i've added my menu right now if i go to click my page right now i will see the menu there so these are the menu that i've just created right now these are the menus that i've created so i have this welcome i will see change that so i can come to customize this is just another way to customize your website let me just show you a little bit of it here so there's a lot of things you can do here so i can come to global no i want to edit the menu here some things here site identity you can give your site icon or site title and logo settings you can put it here so you can upload logo here site title this is where we have that welcome i don't want it so i just want to have something like something i just delete it i don't put anything there so site icon we will still do all this inside element of so i but i can still put it from here so put it there so it's uploading so i click i can click select so you can crop it to whichever one you want of course it's not even kind of visible but yours should be visible so crop image so that's what we have there so that and that's how it shows so i can easily reduce it here you know but don't worry about all this i'm just showing you some ways you can do these things uh even without using elementor elementor is actually very much more easier than this 
so we we'll get to the point where we use elemental very soon i just want to be detailed a little bit in this tutorial that's why i'm using this so you can add some other things here maybe some widgets to uh, secondary menu you can add different things here but let's just leave it like this you don't want to uh touch many things here so yeah, so this is another thing you can do here by increasing the height and by clicking on that so and if you go to design you can easily change the background color like this i'm just using this design i'm just still explaining some other things you can do here we are not really we have not really get started to where we want to be very soon i'm going to clear all this i'm just showing you that you can still do some of these things here and how to use these aspects too so just come to design again by clicking on it and then you can easily come i want to change the letter of the text radius doesn't work here because there's nothing there's no there's no box so test test i put that white so you can publish so if you publish it right now this is what we are going to see and you can cancel after it's published and then this is what we have on our website this laser study which is my icon i do that you will know very soon in a much more simpler simpler method so this is just it. so let me just come back to my dashboard and let's start creating our website the way it should be so i just click on templates here and then click team builder i want to create the our header right now don't worry about that you will see how it comes up so i just click no templates for no template font add new in as much as you've actually installed elementor you'll be able to see that our uh, team builder as well if you just follow my step so i want to add an header so these are blocks these are different headers you can choose from you can choose from starter templates you can create your own from a fresh but i want to create my own from a fresh and i choose a one column template so i click on it i go to style this classic which allow me to add an image so i had this image this is just the background i found online and i downloaded it so I can come to layout and then height minimum screen and then i'll be able to increase the height and reduce it whichever way i want so this is our header that we are creating right now so i bring it down so i think it's okay like this so i can click I can go to style i click plus and it shows me the available widgets that i can use i want to bring in something here from this place an image box basic yeah an image box i put an image box over there and then i can since i've put it there i can easily select any image that i want i want this image to be there so I insert it. So that is it promoting inclusive education for dyslexic children in Southwest Nigeria. So this is what I have. So I can go to style, advanced. I can hold link, I can create margin by unlinking it, that means it will not be even. So I give some space on the right and I give some space on the left as well. I want this image to 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 not be i want this image to to be inside the background so i can touch the height from here as well just follow the step so i can bring in something else navigation menu yes this is my navigation menu and then i button it in so because i've already had my menu set up and as other menu it automatically find it for me and it brings it in so i can do some designing 
on the menu. I can go to advanced. I can go to background, classic. I can then choose color instead of image. And then I give it a green background. I give it a green background. You don't need to highlight it before you do it. You just need to pick that pencil on the right side. So this is it. This is the background. It's looking good. This is the background that I want. Yeah, I'm just trying to find the best color for it. So this is good. So you can even see some additional features that it automatically come with itself by highlighting it to lighter green. So that's my background. And then I can also do something else. This border, if I wanted to have border, you see it's changing to like it's changing the rectangle shape, but I don't want border. I don't want a border. So I want to change the some things here, yeah, the style of the, the text. The text color and change it to white so it's now white and content i want to make it center we are still going to do something else on that later on so it's center i want to bring it up a little bit it's too down for me i just go to advance and then unlink it from this margin and then click this i want it to be aligned actually with this if I didn't unlink it as I'm pressing this right alone, it will also be moving on the top, on the right and everywhere and soon achieve the result that I want. So that's why I first unlink it and then start dragging, putting margin in the, on the sides that I want to put margin. So I think it's okay now. So I want it to, I want it to move up also. Do I want that? So. On this as well i want to make sure okay i have the full width so by just clicking on any object here you'll be able to see the features and then you'll be able to do whatever it is that you want to do so i want this to come down a little or oh, i just click ctrl z if i don't want it to be that so i higher I reduce the the I minus seventeen from it and then it comes up, so it's hop right now. So I can then go to style again. If I want to do anything, so divider. I put a divider. You can see it has a divider right now. And then that's the divider color, but I don't need it. So coming back to content, there's some things else we can do. This home, we can, you know, it's as pointer. We can do overline instead of pointer. Now I'm having line over the over it. We can have double line or background. Let's see what happens to the background. I think this is okay. I like this background one. So you can see how it's becoming much more beautiful by just adjusting some things. So I think the background is okay. So submenu indicator in case I have some menu, so I can go to icon library and choose whatever it is that I want to use as the submenu indicator that will indicate that there are more there are submenus on a particular page. So, but I don't have, but I just leave that one there and my menu as well i have breakpoint the breakpoint do, do i want it to break on mobile on tablet or i don't want it to break at all so you will see what i mean by that very soon let me just collapse it for now so i can then click responsive mode to check how it's going to look on desk on phone on deck on tab and it's not really good on phone currently so look at what we have I will have to set that. If I give it full width, if I give it full width, this is what I have as, as I put it as center. This is what I have. I will see correct other settings. So let me just look at this one. I click on the one on top, that image. 
I want to make it, I want to make it, I want to make it, I want to make it stretch. Height, no. Object, fill, cover, these are different ways you can tweak whatever it is that you are putting. I'm trying to make it stretch again, to make it stretch so that I can cover the whole page and not just stand in just like a box over there. So I think what I will have to do, I think, yeah, I will have to go to advanced and remove all the margins that I put there before. So you see this margin 100, I just click on link and then it remove all the margin. I have it very, I have it stretched again. So that's how I have it. So I can click link again. The values inside anything will be, will be taken out if you on link or link it again. So. If I look at it on tab, it's okay. Of course, I'll still need to set some things to make this one look okay. So this is what I'm talking about breakpoint. If I set the breakpoint to uh to mobile, so we have this directly as it is on tablet because I set it to mobile, but I want it to be on tablet. So it will break on tablet and then to show you the toggle menu, toggle indicator, and then you click it and show you the mo the menu. So this is the toggle align to is in center. So you can just fill that up to know what it means. So layout can either be vertical or drop down. The layout of your menu, this vertical. What I have before is horizontal. And we also have drop down. That is this one now, it will drop down, it will be drop down on all devices, either on 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 laptop or tab or on the phone it will, it will drop down on all devices that's what that one means so if i remove full width from here this i think it looks cool right now yeah if i remove it from full width it looks cool so i'll still do some settings i will still do some adjustments so toggle icon There are some settings that I'm looking for. Okay, let me go back to phone. So this is the phone. Yeah, but I don't really like how it is currently. I'm still going to have to do some settings over there. If I use full width for phone, it's just like this. So I think I will have to do some things. Uh, let me do this first. The or uh, the I want to change the background on all on on of this background color. I want to change it to something green, the menu. I want to change it to something green. So this is how to change it. Just drag that button. But what I want is something green like this. And then I want to change the test color as well to white. So I change the test color to white. So I can change it. Click on the typography and change the font, whatever it is that I want. So vertical padding, that's what that is. And I can click on Ctrl Z to make it how it is before. So, and coming down distance from there to there, from there to there, you, know, you can increase distance whichever one you want. I Ctrl Z. So toggle button. What's the color? The color is white. Automatically, the size you can increase the size of the toggle button. And I just want it small. So border width, so this is the width, but I don't want it that thick. So I just want it, and then the size too. I want to and border radius. You want it to be cycle, so that is for that. And then continuing, I want to do something here. Drop down this drop down. Look at it. I want to change some some i just want to put some things here on the hover over means when you click on it when you when you like hover on it so i want to change the color when you click i click over on that then test color on hover i want to change the test color when i hover on it no the background color first so i put it on white you see now the background color is white because i put it on white i click on hover and then i change the background color to white and then i will have to change the test color as well I mean, I collapse this, I put this probably on green. So I put this on green. So you see, when I hover on it, I'm having different colors. So that's the standard practice. So I can click this. 
so i can cancel this and then click on this again click on this this is my menu yeah it's it's cool so i may want to i may want to remove some paddings from this yeah i remove the padding i bring it up a little bit or i can remove it at all totally put it on zero and distance so this is for tab this for tab it looks nice i'm still going to adjust the menu so that it to be balanced and this on uh, yeah this is the drop down because i've changed the layout to drop down that's why we have the drop down on system again and the break point does not work so i'll just have to go back and go to content and then from drop down make it horizontal and then for horizontal we give me this opportunity these options and then my break point will be working my break point is tablet so i can adjust it to right and i can make it stretch so i want it to be stretched so this is good so vertical drop down those are the ones that we have and then my break point is tablet so going back to tab my break point is tablet and then it's break on tablet so i can collapse it and then going back to mobile and then I click on it this one yeah this is what i have i want to do some settings here right now i want to remove the margin that i put there before that's what is making this one shift side and go different ways and then i want to remove it from minus 17 and 176 which i actually set for laptop version so i want to remove it you can have different settings from for laptop for tab and for phone you see it's stretched right now i put it on zero i put it on zero right now and then i want to do something on this tie remove it from full width no this not remove it. i just want to remove it from full width its center is okay this to go align right center or right right is okay and then i just yeah and then i just remove this and remove full width so it's perfectly aligned right now i just remove it from full width and make sure that one on top is doesn't have margin for mobile and i will have it really really structured the right way so i think it's structured the right way for the tab as well so sometimes the settings actually change you just need to cross check it very well to make sure that you know when you are setting one that hole doesn't change so i want to remove all the margin on the on the tab for this and then set its own margin from afresh so i want to bring it up a little bit yes and then unlink it and then from right reduce it so this margin and padding they are just things that you just have to work with you don't necessarily need more skills just tweak it to the way you want it if it works while you are while it's linked it worked and if it doesn't work you have to unlink it to make it work so that's for that so this is my laptop view this is my tab view and this is my mobile view for my header so if i click on this yes this is what i have if i click on this 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 is what i have this is what i have and if i go to the laptop mode this is what i have very cool and then i can click publish and then add a condition and then i want it to be on the entire sites so the entire site is the condition so save and close so it's saving and it's publishing as well so right now if i go back to my site i will see this day i, I can give, go to view live site so this is what i have this is my header i have my home about methodology objective research activities researchers so that's actually this is very cool for me so if i reduce it to tab if i reduce it to tab this is what i have this is what i have on tab and if i reduce it to mobile this is what i have on mobile yeah that's the extent i can reduce it this is what i have on on mobile 
so that is for header so that's for header this is the beautiful header that we have so going back to our dashboard to continue these are all my pages and then i can edit this page with elemental now i've already created my header now i want to create my page so i can do some settings here if you see what i have over there is elemental and it's not supposed to be elemental i don't care about elemental i'm just using them i just go to settings and i come to settings here i click on that i come to site setting those are the things we can actually do and come to site identity those are the things we can do in the customized section i showed you in the beginning but i don't want to do it there it seems complicated over there but i want to do it here so I give my site name, the Ecclesia study and inscription. I don't want any site description. So site logo, that's, I don't really need site logo there because my team doesn't, the team that I'm using now doesn't give room for site logo. That's why we didn't see it. But site fave icon, that is the icon you will be seeing, you are seeing here, this elemental logo, that is it. One must be there. It said that I choose mine or elemental helps me put one over there. So and then i insert this yours must actually be square i just use this for the tutorial purpose so i can then i delete this one since my team doesn't support it and then i update so if i hover over the tab now it won't show me the elemental elemental again it's going to show me the name that i put there which is this laser study and then it's going to change the fave icon as well so i'm refreshing it currently so it's changed so because i'm in elemental you show elemental home but this laser study dot org that's what people will see when they browse my stuff i'm the only one seeing elemental right now because i'm inside elemental so right now let's edit our page i click on setting and then the title home they i want to delete it i want to hide it i don't need it so and page layout you can have different page layout elemental canvas elemental full width team wp maintenance mode i want full width full width actually means that the team uh i will still have my header and my footer but if i go with full canvas i won't have it there so i want element so this is the default i don't want to browse just too much options i just want it at uh uh elemental full uh full width you can decide to even leave the title when you change it from element when you choose elemental full width or elemental canvas it will likely remove that home on its own yeah you see it's gone elemental canvas remove the header that we created so it will be any everything you created on this page alone that's what you will see but i want full width so that i will have my header because it's my home my home must have my my header so now it's back it's good so i want so that is the, so i want elemental full width so i can click on this right now i go to style I want to add something classic this upload select so i want to upload uh this image of course don't worry i'm uploading what i didn't actually show you in the beginning which is not actually the way i designed it the way i show you but don't worry i will change it later on you see how i will change it so just click just come to layout minimum screen and then you'll be able to adjust the height and then you know to your likings so i adjust it to this so i want to stretch so i click on that stretch section so that i want it to be to full so this is what i have here this is my column hop there so column position is on top i can bring it to middle so it's in middle right now so it's in middle and then i can click on this to show me the widgets so i want to add a widget on this home so you can look for whichever widget works for you there are different widgets you can play with whichever one that you want and then you will see what it does it's very easy just drag and drop and then you will see a lot of features that you can actually add that you can use to create your website i personally have connected my elementor i use image carousel I've connected my Elementor uh, Pro account to this account. That's why I'm able to see some widgets. But you may not be able to see those widgets if you don't have an Elementor Pro. So I can upload different images that I want. 
I can upload them at once. So this image carousel is just how to use image carousel. Let's see how it will behave. And then you create a gallery with it. You can add caption or may not add caption, whichever one you want. So this is what I have. I want it to be full. I want it to be one. Yeah, so it's one one now. And then it's showing. So don't worry, I will still change the background and change it to the animals that we see at the beginning. So don't worry about that. And that is much more beautiful than this one. So, but these are just some images. So this is what image carousel does. It's you create a gallery and then you have it like that. You can click on this. You can click on this and then you can choose that. Okay, you want to you want to include the caption. This is the caption and then you can go to additional options to probably auto play, lazy load pause on hover you know there are different things you can do here just you can just go through it and see what how it functions how it behaves and then you can choose whichever one you want or whichever one you do not want so it can make it slide i can go to this tie and from this tie you can change the size of the of these arrows navigation which is navigation you can change the size of the arrow you can change the pagination size this dot 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 so you can change it you can change the color as well so there are different features there are different uh options you can browse from image border type do you want it to have a border do you want it to be double doffed you know different ones but i think i don't want anything there so you can actually add border videos so that's what works that how that one works but i don't want it the caption you can actually change the text color go to typography and change the fonts increase the size of the type of, of the captions weight you can change the font to whichever font you want transform weight if you put it on 500 it will be more bold so decoration do you want it overlying underline line through i think i use overline now underline now and then line through now so at none i don't want anything so as the image is sliding it's showing the the uh the caption that you had as well so I can just collapse this so I can go to tap. I want to, I think I want to change the color of the text. So text color. So I put it white. So it's more visible. So, but this actually not the widget that I want to use. I just use this one to show you how this widget actually works. The widget that I'm going to be using is also, is also something similar to this and you can i can link it i can drag it whichever way i want i want i can bring it up bring it up up and from right i can make it align with this okay so i want to close this page right now this one that i'm currently doing i'll come back to edit this own page i want to currently do something first because there's a new sticker that we need to bring in so i'll just have to exit to my dashboard i'll quickly do that right now to my dashboard so that we can see what i'm talking about we come to start start the home page we'll come to start the home page afresh so come to dashboard come to uh to plugins i want to do something here currently and i will create a post as well so search for the plugin new sticker you know that 
latest article that I show in the beginning of the video. That's what I want to do right now. So I have T4B new sticker. I click on install now. So this is what I want. We have Divan new sticker actually, but this is the one that I want because and it's currently installing. And after installing, then I will activate. So after activating it, so I'll be able to have that new sticker. So ticker setting. So when you come to plugin, you see ticker settings. So this is our ticker setting. So this is the code that you copy after everything. So mark if you want to show new sticker. Yes. So enter ticker title trending now. Maybe you want trending now the categories that you want, but I don't have a category yet. So number of posts minus one means you want to show all the posts in the category you want to be displaying like a new sticker. So I think I will have to create a post first. So I go back to my dashboard or instead I can, I could have easily click on plus over there and click post. So I want to create a post. So this is how to create a post. So I can put, uh, awareness visit to step Patrick junior and secondary grammar school and then i can put whatever it is i can put image i want to put some image. so uh i'll add the last image and then i can after doing this after adding it uh this image as well so i can click on publish and then to actually cater for the new sticker that i did i have to create a category because it works by category and some other option, but it's actually easier to work by category. So I can just come down here. I can cancel this. I can come down here. So come down to category. So post, not block. So category. So I have only just on categorize as my category, but I click on add new category and then I add blog so blog so add new category so it's added right now so this post is i un unmarked uncategorized and then i mark category so and i i marked blog so i can update this post right now so this post is under blog i have a category blog and this post is under blog so this is the post this is the post so i can now go back to my dashboard and then we zoom back to my home page and create uh my page or before i do that i have i want to go back to the new sticker appearance or oh no settings sticker settings so this is ticker setting so enter ticker type 2 what do i want you will see how it will operate i want latest news latest article to be the introductory so do you want it to scroll ticker notion sure type or slide or fade i think scroll is okay so speed of scrolling you can adjust that if you want so my category blog so all posts on that blog will be the one that will be featuring on the new sticker so i save changes and then I have to copy the code. So I copy the code. Actually, I'm supposed to copy the code. Actually, I'm supposed to copy the code on top, but this one is still the code. I just have to delete some things on it. So I go back to my pages. I've copied the new sticker, our code. And then I come to edit with Elementor. So I want to edit my home. I want to start again editing my home. So I click on plus. I had one column, I had one column, so I have this, so I want it to stretch to the side, stretch, now you see it has stretched, so I want to add the background, so I click on style, I click on classic, image, and then I clicked on this, and then I have this, so I can go back to layout, uh, minimum height, and then reduce it or increase it the way I want. And then I can add what plus, click on this, and then I can add whichever widget that I want. I can add the button, 
and I can add whichever one that I want. You can add portfolio, you can add gallery, you can add form, you can add slides, you can add animated headline, whichever one you want. But I want this media carousel. So this is what I have. So I will just have to set it. It's a carousel slideshow. So I leave it at carousel. So I just want, I clicked on it and then it gave me the option to upload the image that I want. So I do that. So I collapse it and then go to the second item and do that as well. So what, which effect do I want? Is it slide or fade? I want fade. So it will be fading. And then carousel slideshow. Let's see. Yes, no, I don't want this cover flow. No, I don't want this carousel is still okay. So I just have to do something right now. Additional option pagination dots. So we have different settings here. Overlay, I don't want any overlay. You can have test overlay. Yeah, that's your test. That's the name of your the name of the pictures, but I don't want any overlay. So image size, I want it to be full. Image uh, image fit. Let's see contain no cover. Cover is still okay. Let's load. No, you can just use that and see how it behaves. And pause on hover. Different thing that you can use over there. So this is this is an image link. If you want it to link to any place, maybe a video, whatever it is, you can link it. So I want to increase the height of my picture here. Yes, so I want to increase the height here. So the the height this is the height that I want. I want to increase this height that I want. So because I've not replace that image that's why i have that so i want to increase it on width as well to align with that so i can collapse this and add another image add another image and insert so this is another image collapse it i can add another image and then insert media and then I can collapse it and add another image and then insert it as well the same thing that I'm doing and you can add item and then to give you another one so you can go to advance you can link and then take this one up I want to take it up a little bit yes so I take it up so once again, don't worry, I'm still going to change it to the image of the animals that we see at the beginning that makes it look very beautiful. This is actually low resolution image. So left as well. I want to edit the left as well. Is it right? Yes. Yes, so that's for that. So I have my image with this... Uh, media carousel drive media carousel widget that i put so it looks a little bit nice so i just want to be sure that i have the alignment perfect so i can then add another section so i've i clicked on this and then i click on this plus i add one section as well i click on this plus and it shows me some options and then i can search widget and then short code so this is the new sticker where it comes in so i paste it inside the short code and then i have to delete those ones that in the beginning and just let it begin with that uh uh that uh so that square bracket that i have so it begins with that square bracket so i have to delete this as well those are just square bracket starting that it's okay so now we have latest article as what I put instead of trending now the other time I have latest article and the post that I put is actually going 
so I can expand the width whichever way I want on the layout. So I can expand it or reduce it whichever one I want. So I think it's okay. If I go to advance, I don't have much option in on adjusting the side. If I want it to go up. Yes, I want it to go up. So it's a little bit big. So I will have to adjust it in the width here. Yeah. So that's cool. So that is cool. That is good. So I can then add more. I can update it. Update so I can visit my page, my home page. Let me just refresh this. So this is what I have. Don't worry about the copyright 2022 or that it will soon go when I it will go actually when I get there. So this is my page. I come back here so I can then add more session. I click. I want to exit the dashboard to do something currently to do another thing right now. So coming back to my website, this is what I see the post that I put. And the reason why I have this there is because there is a setting that I need to have put. There is a setting that I need to actually adjust. I need to check one setting. So I just come back to dashboard. I intentionally leave just to show you that. So come to settings, come to this uh, reading, reading, and then your home page displays your latest post. So when I post that, it becomes my home page, but I want it as a static page. So which page do you want it? Home page. So, and this one, you can just leave this one. I want it to be on my home. I want my uh, my home page to be a static page, not my latest post. So that's what I did. And then I can save changes. And then if I go back right now to my home page, to my website, it won't be showing that post anymore. So this is what I have. And I have my new sticker working as well. So going further. So the new sticker works well new sticker so going further i come back here i can add another section so i click on four this four uh section i want to bring it down so it actually jumps up so i just go to the margin and then drag it down to to the margin so i want to add an image to it image and then i, I can duplicate it and then drag it here I can hold over the pencil, duplicate, drag it, duplicate, and then drag it as well. So I can then click on the image and then bring whatever it is that I want. Free images. So I can search for animals. Insert media. So this is the image that I put. So I can click on this as well. So free image. So I see this bed. Just the same process. So I caption non link. I may want to link this. Maybe custom URL to a particular page on my website. I can just click slash to the page that I want to link it to. Maybe I want to link it to methodology. And then I just click slash methodology. So if I hover over it, you see it's showing that it's linked to slash methodology. Uh, in this box that is showing here right now, it's linked to slash methodology. So that's how to link it. So I can duplicate. Uh, I can. I want more him two more images. So I think I can easily duplicate any of these. Okay, I want to put an headline a heading and then put something over there liveness of nature i'm just writing whatever comes to me so i want to put it with the h h5 and then style i put it in black 
and typography no no typography i can change the font if i want to whichever one i want text text stroke you can add text stroke you can add text shadow so i'm adding shadow right now and and you can change the horizontal and you can change the vertical position of the shadow so this is the blur so this as well it's linked so i want to add another heading for this as well yeah i just drag it underneath the image so liveness of nature the beauty of nature and then from h2 to h5 style change the color to black and it's okay so i don't think i have any image that i want to i can just do i want to duplicate this i want to duplicate this as well and then just drag this to this one i can delete this ones i can delete this one when i click on the section i choose one with four columns that's why i have four column over there so i drag it there so i can double this as well and then drag it here i can then drag this as well i want this to be here yes so this actually is still linked to methodology i want to link this this is i want to link this to another page maybe about or objectives yeah okay objectives and then so i have it it's only this one is not linked to any page this one is linked so i can add another section maybe three columns four columns or whichever one or i can add it from template elemental template so let's look for what we can use these are blocks not a full page just blocks so i'm looking for one that i can actually use a beautiful one so i can use this it has a video so with this i'm going to show you how to put a video so i'll just put insert so this is what we have so i want to change the background of this so this i want to change the pictures right now to those beautiful creatures that we have as i said earlier I'm, I'm, as i said earlier i'm going to change it so now i'm changing the uh the images so i like these cuts i put it and i did the same for other pictures as well i just clicked on it and then go to free image and then look for the image that i want and then put it there so this is what we have so and i may want to change the background as well to the background that we see the other time a background like the okay let me do this first so i come to style on this i want to put a video background on it so instead of classic or gradient i select video so video link so i think youtube is actually very good so i can come to youtube so i can search for probably someone elon musk or anybody and you know your every video on youtube has a link so you just copy your video link i don't have a specific video in mind so i just copy the video url of this so and then i just put it here and then it will load the video yeah so that's what we have in the background so we have a video instead of classic or gradient so you can choose the start time start time so maybe you want it to start on 50 uh, seconds and end on 70 seconds you want it to play once you want it to play on mobile you want it to you know whichever one you want and privacy mode you no know, only works for youtube video so background for back you want to use a background for back because before the network loads the video you want something to be there so that it won't just be blank 
or sometimes if the network doesn't load it at all is the background for back that we have this bed instead of the video so that's what we will have so it's good to use a background for back so the video is actually playing in the background and then this is a background overlay so the video is cool it has actually blocked the test so let me put the video also in this link i just click on the video itself and then i put the video as well so the video too is inside this place also i just clicked on this yes and it shows me that on the left side it shows me that on the left side and then the video is there so i can edit all this i can change the color because the color is uh, uh the color is not showing right now so or i can go back to i can go back to background overlay background overlay classic color and then choose black you see now it's black so that is overlay and then i may want to reduce it the opacity and then or increase it over there and image overlay i don't want an image overlay that's too that would be too much i've already used color to overlay it so i can click on this and change the color to white i can click on this as well and change the color as well go to style change the color as well to to white so that you'll be able to see it so and this is the video but i personally don't want it like this i just use this one to show you how to add a video so i want to click something else this gradient so you can mix color but i don't want gradient itself i want something else i want to go to classic i want an image to be the background so i can choose this let's see how it looks how it appears yeah i think this appears normal this appears very well the black overlay is there and it appears normal and the video too is inside it yeah it's cool so i can add another section if i want or add it from elemental templates maybe we, i can add a page and then delete some part of the page or block or search by category maybe i want clients client maybe different clients i want to include this type of client people who have worked with you and then i click insert so it's loading so we have our client commently so you can click on this and edit it maybe you don't want our clients maybe you want people who have who love our work maybe that's what you want but i don't want that i think our client is still okay for me our client and if you click on this that's just the same thing we put immediate carousel you can put custom url you can link it to the client complaint website or you can change the picture maybe you want to put this picture there as maybe they are, that is the logo of your client you know it's not it's not even showing it actually has a is a png with no background so i control z so it returns to that so but that just how to change the pictures and you can change the colors as well in style if you want so these are websites looking looking good so i want to do something here i can click on this old session i go to advance and then i unlink unlink this let me see no this is not really what i want let me do it on padding i unlink the padding and then on the right side i bring it in that's that for that and then on the left side as well i bring it in so that's for that i can drag it up now with margin so that's cool yeah so that's cool 
129.37 so i can click on responsive on mobile these are cool on mobile the menu is okay but these are not okay those ones are not okay these ones are okay as well so i'll just have to do justice to this click on this and then remove the padding so i've moved it so it's okay now and then i want to center this center and i want to center this as well center and i want to center this as well center and i want to center this as well center and so that is for that and then for the images themselves i click on need the raw the, the width minimum height no yeah no no uh this is not what i want so i just go back to width yeah the width is okay the width is okay but yet i still have to remove the margins that i put so that it will be okay so i go to advanced so i remove this once so that it be okay so it's okay now i remove this padding as well zero so it's centered so this one too is centered so this i may want to do something with this it's kind of i want to make it smaller advanced I'm not able to pick it so i go to navigator and then i pick it on the navigator by selecting the, the exact column of that uh new sticker and then i'm able to do what i want to do here yes something like something like this let me use let me try padding Yeah, so it's okay like this. So my header is okay. My pictures are nice. Oh, this is actually the ID size of the phone. So this is what I have. This is my pictures. That's my video. These are my clients. And it looks good. So on the tab, it looks good as well. But I think I need to do some things. So I can go to advance and bring it down a little bit. Yeah, and these ones, I may want to remove some of the padding that is there. Yes, I want to remove the padding. So it's okay like this. So I want to remove this as well. Remove this and link it probably. Yeah, just a little bit like that. So go to layout, make sure the width is extreme. Yeah, that's how far it can go. Full width, column gaps, minimum height. No minimum height top yeah middle top middle so let me come to style I want to change the background here so the image click on this and then choose this background 
Yes, so I would think I prefer this background there. I prefer this background. So I come to tab uh, four and so this it's it's changed to on the phone, but it's not changed on the computer uh, format. So it's good on the on phone. So computer, I have to change it. So choose image. I have to click it. So that is it. So it actually changed the settings a little bit. So I have to I want to cancel that navigation. So I just go back to advance and then unlink it. Or oh, let me use padding. Yes, and on the left as well. Yep, so that is it. So that's for that. So on my on my tab, this is what we have. On tab, this is what we have. And then on phone, this is what we have on phone. So it's it's cool. If I want to add more section, I can add more section. And if I want to add it from template, I can add it from template. Maybe I see I still want to add something. Maybe something like this. I click insert. So show about the complaint. So I choose image. I must choose an image that goes out, that aligns with that dimension. That is landscape. If I use this one, it won't really work well. Of course, it still work well, but it doesn't. It actually changes the dimension a little bit. So, but if I choose a a full landscape video, it will be much better. So I control Z. So I click on it again to choose a video. This portrait this portrait this landscape yeah this landscape so this one will work well yes this one works actually very well and then about the company you can edit this and do whatever it is that you want to do so you can hide the button click here button select it and maybe you don't want click here to be on your own you want to you want it to be no more maybe know more about you and then slash about slash about so it's this one will link to the about page of the website so slash about so maybe you want to style it instead of green you want white and then you have to change the color as well the color of the test want to make it red or black so and you can make it gradient border radius if you want it to have a radius so i want to have it to add a radius you want to add the want to add padding and you can link the padding to you know give, to give it more designs let me try and do that let me unlink it yes so you see now, I'm adding the padding to some side and to another side. So I think that looks good. So I can actually put motion effect for everything. You can put motion effect, how it's going to come in. I want to use fading. So that's something new that I just tell you right now for all column, for all section for all widgets you can put entrance at a uh, entrance animation by clicking on advance and adding motion effects so these are different motion effects that we have you can use whichever one you like but i don't want a motion effect for that and there's something you can do as well responsive mode you can hide this particular one on mobile so if i go to mobile right now because i clicked on this and i hide it on mobile it won't be shown on mobile 
nobody will see it with mobile and i can have the entire segment just go to advanced and then responsiveness i can have the entire segment on mobile so nobody will see this segment on mobile nobody will see it on tab but if i release it now you will see it on mobile and you will see it on tab so that is another thing for visibility maybe you want to do different things so i centered it this phone version i want i have to center this as well on the phone so on the tab it's okay okay on the desktop it's okay as well it looks nice so this is our website it looks nice if you follow all the steps you will surely get where i get to as well and if you have any question you can easily ask so these are websites so i just refresh it right now so this is all we have i think some settings have changed actually this i just have to edit with elementor and then i can easily change it so that's just it you just have it doesn't even show that it's actually out of settings here so let me just click on advance and see what's wrong i think this is what is wrong just put some boxed not full width boxed so as i put it on that i think it's gonna suffice so if i click update right now update and then live preview it's gonna yeah it's okay right now so i have it okay so i'm still seeing if there's anything i need to change so this is mobile this is my header And this is this is really dry hearted. And this is if I click on this is going to lead us to our about page. So that's it, our about page. But I don't want that. Let me go back to home. This is our tab. This is our tab and this is our desktop. Let me just refresh it. Yep, so it's cool. So these are these are desktop. So I may want to go back to my dashboard as we continue our design. Team builder. I want to build a footer right now. I build the header. I build the home page. And then I want to build a footer just the same way as I build the header. I click on hard new. There is a template that I can use, different templates. If not for the sake of this tutorial, these templates are very, very fascinating that I could have used. But I just want to show you from scratch how I how you can do your own templates, but you can pick any of these. And just edit it to suit your own so i canceled it so i click i click plus and then select my own template i select one segment template and then i go to style classic and then select image i want this bed to be there so i can go back to layout minimum height and then drag it the way i want There are different parameters for increasing or decreasing. You can choose whichever one suits you. So I stretch section at stretch section. So style, you can actually choose position. You see, these are different positions your image can actually take. 
even without designing footer everything whenever you bring in image you can decide the dimension you want it to appear so background overlay i want color yes so black is there you can reduce it or increase it i think increasing it is okay for me so and this is the opacity down there so it's okay like this so i can add whatever it is that I, have, that I want by clicking this plus or i can over on this and double do, uh, add more column i want another column plus yes so i have three columns right here so what do i want to put here i can then search for whatever widget that i want social icons so it gives me some social icons facebook twitter and youtube so i click on facebook and then i just have to put my facebook link and i want to put amazon facebook link just for example sake so this is facebook looking for amazon So I copied it and pasted it there. So if I hover over it now, you see that I'm seeing uh, Facebook, which links to Amazon. So I can add that. Uh, I can choose the type that I want. I want cycle. So it changes to cycle. So these are some columns, two or three. Just put it in the auto left or right or center. So going back, I can add item. I've had one item here, so maybe I want another social media that is not listed. This Pinterest, and then I insert it. So I then have just have to copy the link of the Pinterest and then put it there. I can duplicate. I've clicked it now, it has duplicate. So we have another Pinterest. So I can easily click on this and look for the one that I want to replace it with, maybe LinkedIn. linkedin yes so i insert it so i just have to put the link of the linkedin that i want i have pinterest youtube so you can keep adding depending on how many social icons you want to add and you want to link to your website so i can just go to linkedin again and look for amazon linkedin account so this is i copied it and i pasted it there so when anyone clicked on it, it's going to lead them to Amazon LinkedIn account. So I collapse it. So there are different things you could do as well in size. Size, no. You can increase the size. You can increase the padding or reduce it. You can increase the spacing. A row gap, but it won't work. It's not in rows border you can increase the border or decrease the borders but let me just leave it the way it is i delete this i delete the values icon hover when you hover over it do you want it to pause yes pause is okay or do you want it to shrink whatever you want or push so i think shrink is okay for me so i can put motion effects entrance animation scrolling effects mouse effects this one you can browse them fading down so it's going to fade in down or fading whichever effects whichever entrance animation that you think may be the best for you so this one so this is another one so i use fading actually so transform you can use offset skew scale different type of things that you may that you want so that is for that i'm responsive you may want to add it on desktop or add it on mobile whichever one you want so some of them are linked i didn't link the, the twitter that's why you're not seeing anything i didn't link it i didn't link the youtube i didn't link the pinterest but i linked the linkedin so let's go ahead and add something else i had this heading 
so i want to edit the text follow us on all our socials so if i click enter here yeah follow us on our socials if i click enter on the text itself it's going to show this sign break because sometimes if you click enter inside that title box it will not break it won't enter it will enter there but it won't enter on the screen but if you, if you click enter on the screen it's going to show so i just center it and change the color to white and then i want to add something here i want to add icon list and then i want to add the heading as well so office address so and i want to do with deal with this so your office address you can add your office address 59 out of crescent and then choose an an high uh an icon so i put that so i collapse this continue 59 out of crescent london no avenue way and then i can look for a way a road so i put that so and i can put something else here university united kingdom so i can look for flag so i'm put that there so and then i can change i can style it by changing the color list no icon icon color white over that is when you hover over it red yeah already school size well i think the size it is is still okay alignment center text i want it white so over when you hover over the text do you want any color I can change the uh the line height of the text, whatever it is that I want to do. Letter spacing, transform, uppercase, lowercase. You can do that. So this as well, I can change it to H4, either four. Change the color white, and add text shadow or whatever it is and then advance i want to bring it down a little bit to the uh i want to unlink it i want to bring it down to this to the same line with that followers and all our socials so i think it's okay now yeah so and on this we can still click we can add whatever it is that we want You want to add an image or button, whichever one you want. So, what should I add? Oh, yeah, let me add a heading so I can easily delete this and put whatever it is that I want to put. I can edit it over there or inside this box. So we love to hear from you. Style, change it to white. Typography, size, I reduce the size. It's to H4. I think I've already reduced it to H4. So click here. So center. I want it to center, so I want this to center as well. So the button, I go to add. Uh, so I want to do some settings here. So I want to center everything. So I want this to lead to contact but i don't have contacts on the menu so i have to change one of them to contact 
not about or about no still contact i will have to change one of them to contact i want it's actually necessary to have a contact uh a contact or because i don't have it yet let me just link it to about but i will create a contact page very soon and i will teach you how to design a contact page as well so you can put an icon whichever way you want by clicking on the icon so icon spacing so style you can bring it to white and then text color you can bring it to black so border so I put border so padding I can link it so as to have some kind of designs on the sides yes on top on the right side then bottom and then on the left so that's for that and I want to bring it down as well to join the line of these ones so if I click on it it's going to lead me to the about page and these are the socials this is everything so if I click publish right now it will ask me to so I can go to responsive actually I should go to responsive so this one is too hop this one is okay this one is okay but follow some social that one is too hop so I can just click on click on this column here and then go to advance and then drag it down by clicking on this yeah so it's okay like that so it's okay on this and it's okay on this as well so i can publish and then add condition entire site yes i want it on my entire site so it's showing this red because there's actually one before but of course i don't activate it so i override it with this one so save and close so it's publishing it so I can go to my site, up view live site. So this is it. This is what we have over there. So if I come to my home page right now, this is what we have. Yes. But I think I need a little bit of space in between the footer, the footer and that. So I come back to Elementor on the home page. Elementor on the home page. I want a little bit of space. So I click on hard new segment and then click this one column and then go to my widget session and then I look for divider. Yes. So I can sp specify the size of space that I want. So I think that's okay. And I click update. So that's cool. So if I go back now, the space would have, would have been there. So this is the space. So that is the space. So coming down, I have the space on tab. I have it on phone as well so I have it if I click on this it's going to take me to Amazon because that's where I linked it so I just cancel it if I click on this LinkedIn it's going to take me to Amazon LinkedIn because that's where I linked it as well so that's for that So, so that this is my page. I may want to bring this down a little bit. Go to advance and bring it down a little bit, and then just update it. So this is the website. So I can exit, exit the dashboard click on this and then I go to pages of appearance 
appearance menus i want to change one of my pages to contacts this about i want to change this about to contact to contact so contact so that's cool so i just click save menu so i go to visit site so this is contact but of course it's still showing about in the tab so the slug is still about so i just want to go to about now i know that's the about that i change to contact so i want to edit it because it's showing this laser study dot slash about whereas it is contact that's actually there so i put contact us so it's still not enough i have to look for this log so this is this log it's slash contact not slash uh, not slash about anymore so i just put contact us so i then update it So that is for that and uh, I want to do something right now. I want to create my contact page. So I'm going to Bluehost. I want to create a professional email and then I log in with my, with my credentials. So my domain name, my login, I log in. And then I just know things. Just go to advanced. Click on advanced. And it's going to load your portal for you. And then create an email account. Create an email account. And then, yes, this is it. So I want to create contact. It will now be contact at dyslexiastudy.org. So you want to put an email, uh, a password, sorry, you want to put a password, password. So I put my password and then I put create. So the email address is created. You can save it on your Chrome if you want. So I have contact at this laser study .org. So if you click check mail, you'll be able to check. So if you click check mail, you'll be able to check it. So these are some of the words you can use to check it. Rand cube or hold. So you can click open. And then, so this is the email. This is just the configuration setting that I have there for now. That's the configuration settings. So I come back to edit. So I want to edit the page, the contact us page. So I click edit with Elementor. Edit with Elementor. So as we've always done, click settings. I title element of full width. So I can hide from templates, starter templates, or I want to go to blocks. I can use starter templates of Elementor. There are different contact templates you can use there. So I want to use this. This is nice. So import block. So import block and then we have this so you can easily edit this based on what we've been doing before i can can just click on this the entire session and reduce the width i don't want it to be too big stretch section yes so i go to style change it from blue to black address 
no put whatever put whatever address that you want and whatever things you want put it there so support at dyslexia study dot org so that's the gmail drive as professional email that i created so you can add your phone you can style it whichever one you want whichever way you want content blue instead of blue you can make it black so you can click on this as well click on this and then go to style and then it's content and content you can change the color to black yes and then you can click on this as well style and then it's content you can go to black yes and that is it you can secondary heading i can just put contact us so this click on this and then edit the selected form so this is where some work comes in so it's going to load uh the plugin that's already that already came with the wordpress for you so name your form here so you have to give your form a name new form and then there are different templates that you can use but i prefer the simple contact form there are different templates and there are some that are actually for premium users so blank form simple contact is okay for me so it's loading so this is just what it's there name first name last name email and message so there are different settings you can do as well you can drag multiple choice and put it there if you want maybe you want you can click on it and you can ask different question favorite favorite animal first choice snake or maybe i don't like snake gorilla or lion and you can add option as well click on the plus maybe something like uh like an elephant elephant yeah and third choice you can put maybe like a mouse that's favorite animal so people can select whichever one they want and instead of this option you can have image as option use image choices so instead of gorilla lion that you have you when you put you can actually upload the image over there and then instead of having gorilla you will have the image and then gorilla just underneath like that but i don't want this multiple choice and you can put a paragraph test in your form you can do whatever it is that you want paragraph text maybe you want is want to know before which what to know before reaching out and description your you know we're actually talking about animals so we should say something related to animals we'd love to know your, your thoughts on this and or on on animal shelter so you know but i don't want it again i deleted it so this is just what i want and i can drag it the way i want whichever one wherever i want it so i want my comments or message to come last so it's actually okay for me like this so if i go to option format i can have first middle and last but first and last is okay if i click on this image too i can see some advanced settings maybe medium small or you know large large it's, it's bigger now but small is, or medium is okay medium is okay and then comment or message you know going to advance place order test limit character maybe you want it to just be 500 200 characters limits that you want people to message they want people to send or words so that's for that default value just leave those ones but i don't want to limit the characters actually 20917 so i want it to just medium so this is what i want so you can save your form but this there's something we need to do we still need to do go to settings and then notification 
notification so these are you no know, in general you can instead of submit button text you can change it to reach out reach out instead of submit when people type their message and then instead of submitting you can have reaching out and then confirmation thanks for contacting us we'll be in touch with you shortly you can change it and you can make it a url that is when people click submit they are automatically clicking a url as well that is maybe to a thank you thank you page or whatever it is so when people click submit immediately it's submitted they will be that means they as they click submit they've automatically clicked that link as well but i want a message so this message is still okay for me thanks for contacting us we'll be with you we'll be with you shortly so the message is okay so everything looks nice so general that's the name these are just leave some of these settings and notification this is very important send to email address so which email address do you want people to send the email address when people actually send a message which email address do you want to use to be receiving the emails the messages that people are sending so that's where you put it so email subject line it will be new entry new form you can change it to whatever it is you want but i don't have any name to for that now from name this laser study so it will indicate that it's from this laser study so all this ones just leave it as it is they are code that are necessary so just leave it but for this send to email address so you can read these notifications are email sent when the form is submitted so that's what we're saying notifications when the email form is submitted so after saving this settings be sure to text the form submission so we test it too so which email do you want to use in receiving the uh the messages so support at dyslexia study dot dot org slash evolution comma evolution four four three four at gmail dot com so that's what i want two twelve so these are the emails that i want to be using to collect the form so i click save so as i click save i can cancel this and then this is the, the form we populate now so this is the form and i can go to my to another tab i can update it and then go to another tab to test it out so contact let me just refresh it yes so i have refreshed it so i put my name and i put my message i love to connect so i then reach out so it's reaching out what i put there on the general notification so thanks for contacting us we'll be with you shortly those are all the things we put there so let me look to my email yeah so i have it in my email so this is the name email and then i love to connect so this is it and that's the subject from this leisure study so now i'm checking my email here i've not seen it i've not seen it oh i think i made a mistake the i will have to edit it again the email i created is not support at this laser study it's contacts so i go to setting notification notification it's not support it's contact at this laser study dot org i made a mistake by saying support so it's contact at this laser study dot org yes that's it that's the email i created not support so i save it so it's saved so i want to refresh this page and send another email so justin kyle email justin at gmail.com and we and i would really love you i would really love all my viewers to to subscribe to this channel 
it actually takes me a whole long hour to do this video and i would really really appreciate if you can like this video and then subscribe to this video to this channel as well so i'm looking for it in my gmail right now i've not seen it it has not entered so i'm trying to refresh but why still waiting let me i know i've done the right thing let me just check my professional mail check email so this is it new entry new form so just in kai so this is gmail that i put to i would really love on my to subscribe to and like this page so that is it uh in my professional email and i can connect my professional email to my gmail address there's a video that i did on this channel that can teach you that how to connect your how to connect your professional mail to your gmail so i've had that so this is our home page looking nice and we have our home page set up we have our contact page set up as well yes and uh, methodology let me just do something very brief with this because i've not edited with elementor before i will just have to click edit page and then after it loads for me then i will now click edit with elementor i can't edit so it's the only giving me a haru but like this page we go and then i will now click edit with elementor so it's loading i'll just import a template quickly for this so just go to setting and make it elemental canvas and then blocks or pages i just want something like client something like a client stuff yeah i think this is okay so import block i'm importing the block so it's imported so this is what we have there so i can change it to the best methodology for my activity for my active designs so click on it you can change the image to whichever image that you want but i don't have an image just make sure the image is the same dimension that it's there which is 300 by 300 pixels so that's for that and you can edit it the way whichever way you want you can click on this you can go to style and probably edit it this is the title and description these are all the text that is there so i can type anything the likelihood the likelihood of this genuine i'm just typing nonsense actually so uh, once again kindly like this video and subscribe to this channel it takes me a long long hours to actually put this video together a lot of editing a lot of mistakes going over it again and again just to make sure i cover the all the parts involved in making this video so going to style i can go to content and change the color make it black whatever it is that i want so description which is the name is the color black so you can change it so i can so i can change some the by increasing the width i can change the picture so over animation pause shrink you know yeah i can do this for everything but the video is getting longer than i wanted so i'm wrapping up really fast so just by doing this on one i can do it on all so you can just browse with it and see whatever it is is obtainable that you can do so this is for this so you can then update you can update and then you can add a background classic upload an image upload this image yes and this is what we have here layout stretch yes to cover all the angles yeah so i change this to black i change this to black as well 
I'm going to costai content. I change this to black as well. Style content. I change this to black as well. So style content. Content. I change this to black as well. Style content. I change this to black as well. So that is for that. And then I can update. And then that is my website. And then you can create the other pages that you want in the same manner. Very, very simple. Important template, creating it on your own, doing it the way you want. So that is how to create a website. If you have any question, you can put it in the comment section and I will answer your question. Please do not leave this video without liking this video and without subscribing to this channel. So this is our website. This is how it looks. This is how it looks. Looking good. This is our, this is our contact page. Yes, and we have our webs, our email there. This is our methodology page. Looking cool as well. So that is it for how to create a website within design those pages. So that's why we leave it. These are mobile version. These are mobile version. I may just quickly have to go over the mobile version to uh, edit with Elementor to center it. I just have to go over the uh, mobile version to center some of them. Go to style. And then let's see the content on style. Content yes center yeah click on this as well style content content center and then i fast forward the remaining so that's just how to do it very very simple very very simple with elementor with wordpress the word as the word is at your fingertip you can create whatever website you want to create by practice you can get better and you can keep getting better so this tab and this desktop so that is it once again thank you very much and that is it i hope you've been able to get a lot of things from this video it's actually a long one but if you actually follow through you will actually get what i get as well it's actually just by practicing practicing and practicing that makes you better at heat you know so you want to keep practicing and then please do not forget to like this video and subscribe to this channel i would really appreciate that and i'm begging again also if you like to buy uh, a domain from host from bluehost kindly use the link that i provide in the blue uh, in the description below it helps me it's a uh, financial encouragement for me and it will be a win-win in the future i promise you that can you use that link to access the bluehost platform if you want to buy a domain so that is it Thank you very much. This is Entrepreneur Hub. I post videos about entrepreneurs, how to di about digital marketing, how to promote your business, how to develop skills like these video editing skills and other skills that you may want and motivations that could actually help employ uh, that could actually help potential entrepreneurs. So that is it. Hopefully see you in subsequent videos. This is Entrepreneur Hub. Have a nice day.